Okay, y'all, we're doing reverse and forward selector switch on the black and decker drill. I'm pointing to all the holes where the screws are at. I need a Phillips screwdriver, long, deep, with a real small diameter rod so we can get down in the holes. I took all the screws out except for one. Okay, that's my last screw. The case come open right in half and here we go voila bam 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 it's a new switch see the little thing sticking out the old one just comes right out looks like somebody has some JB weld on it and you see our little piece is missing unlike the new one I'm going to compare them people can see okay and then the trigger is a place for the little knob to go into I'm pointing to it let's put it in like that let the other end go through the case press that on to make sure everything is in place move the switch I hold everything and move the switch back and forth to make sure it moves easy Take the other half of our case and position it back in place. Take a little maneuver in here. There she goes. Put all our screws back in and start them a little bit. Drop those in. Okay. Start screwing those in. All right, we're done. Okay, let's test it. My bad was fully charged. Can okay, we hold that trigger? It's one direction. Move the selector switch. That's the other direction. Works fine. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Alright. That's it. See you next time. Have a good day.